Hello everybody, this is Maniac for Rex Moore, and welcome to Hoarders. <laughs> so, technically, this is a brief garage tour, because other than the room tour that I did earlier on Maniac for Bricks, which you can check out, link in the description below, of how the place looked before I now move back out, this is the garage tour before I move back out. So I've used the garage for a big storage space for a while. I've recorded some videos in here. Not all of them have been published yet, but they will be coming in the near future. I've had a whole bunch of Nerf videos in here, a couple of Lego videos, still working through uh, editing them. So be patient, be subscribed. It'll come out uh, over time. But it also served as a good space if I needed to get away from the apartment proper like if I needed to work on something if I wanted to do a live stream and not interrupt anybody in the apartment you know talking through walls or whatever so it's all good uh the jeep and car stuff over here it's not mine that's someone else's space I'm not gonna worry about that but I'm gonna acknowledge it because it's right there <laughs> want to acknowledge the jeep in the room and the Bel Air I'm not sure what car that is I'm not good with cars but, yeah, somebody who's a mechanic, somebody who works on car stuff, they have car parts. That's it. Uh, a couple of yard supplies in here as well. Again, no biggie. Uh, let's get to it. So, first thing I want to bring up here are these two giant Lego boxes. I have the box only for Pirates of the Barracuda Bay from Lego Ideas, 21322, and the UCS Hogwarts Castle, 71043. My friend Sega got these sets, built them, and then flipped them, and he didn't need the boxes when he sold them again. So, um, I got the boxes from him, so that way I can use it for sorting more LEGO sets. That's what I like to do. Even Whether or not I have the LEGO set that's on the box itself, I like to use it as a sorting method. Like, when I already, you know, if I take a set apart, I bag it up, you know, with the with a Ziploc bag or something, I put the instructions in a filing cabinet, where do I put the sets? If they're in the same theme, I try to put them together in the same box, and when it's a Lego set box, it just makes it more efficient, because if I already have the set, it can go back in there or go with other stuff like it. I've done that with a whole bunch of sets for years, and sometimes I do like collecting the boxes. I do plan to get Pirates of Barracuda Bay someday. It's a remarkable set, I would love to have that. I don't plan on getting the UCS Hogwarts Castle, although, when I used to work at the Lego store, I've had two go through me by the same customer, and I was still uh, <laughs> shocked for that. I was like, wait, you're coming to get another one? <laughs> All right, that's cool. Anyways, do I have enough pirate sets that would actually go into this box, or the Harry Potter one? Um, no, probably not. It might not necessarily be used for the theme that's on the box, or it might be compiled with other stuff. That's where labels come into play, and that's going to be a very, very crucial thing. Not only do I sort stuff again, but I have to label everything. Because before, I have had dozens of Tupperwares uh, for Nerf and Lego that were not labeled. And uh, a little bit was done with Nerf. It was like, oh, this is a number four bin. I know it's four loners. But I had no idea what blasters were in there other than the video I recorded for it. And sometimes I take stuff out so it doesn't go back in. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's a work in progress. Always, always will be. Whole bunch of stuff in the middle here is various Lego and Nerf stuff um, from various trips or trades with other people. Um, well, a couple of things from eBay, I believe. There's some uh, cleaning supplies for a car. We got the Percy's. We got the Percy's. Both in good working condition. A couple of video games in the middle here. This was from a GameStop that was closing. So I got a whole lot of stuff for dirt cheap, which is cool. I got this uh, $45. Used to be around $70 at Walmart. So that was great. I do love that set. And I can't wait to build that. A whole lot of Lego backlog is in here. <laughs> I, I When I get everything back in the same spot again... Backlog needs to have its own designated area, and everything backlog needs to go there, because it's really hard to uh, keep track of, you know. I, if I want to build something, it's not hard to go through here, but come on. <laughs> yeah. A couple other LEGO boxes. Hop and Pop and Space Balls in there. A couple of Nerf Blasters. I believe there's a Megaphone in there. Yeah. Megaphone. Full Megaphone. Um, that box has an Ocean Exploration sub. 
or um, sub and ship set. It's a big, big flight ship set. Yeah, it's all good. It's diving, you know. You know I like the diving. Tupperware's back there, full of loose Lego bins, or um, loose Lego in the bins. I will clean through a whole lot of Lego, not only the ones that I've had for a while in bins like this, if I use them for other events or just building in general. Uh, it's been a long time since I've last touched them, and the last time I remember using them was for a, an event pre prior to COVID. So I'm like, yeah, let me just clean that up. A couple of bags over here with, um, these are thrift store bags. If you don't see it already on the channel, it'll be coming up soon. I did a couple of thrift store runs, and there's a whole lot of Lego and a bunch of Nerf in each of those. Those will also be cleaned. I've already taken over a couple bags already, but I have not opened up any of those bags. And once again, I will go through a cleaning process with them because who knows whose hands they've been in before. And yeah. That'll all be safe. That'll be good. So, let's talk about this. <laughs> I have a battle cart. Sealed. All the components, all the parts in there, still the original packaging. Why? Because it's fun. And I got it for like 100 bucks. And I want to try it out at some point. I have no plans to build it anytime soon. But it's here, it's available, and I know people are going to enjoy it. But uh, I knew this wasn't going to be the place for it. It's going to keep it in the box until I found a better spot to assemble it and ride it around. I probably won't fit in it personally, but it'll be fun to try out. <laughs> You've seen Captain Xavier's battle race cart video. It's fine. The guy I got this from actually had another one, which I don't plan on getting at this point. But if we had enough interested nerf parties... I might do that. But, you know, Nerf events are kind of scattered. As, as scattered as Lego conventions <laughs> right now. So, yeah, that's not going to happen. All right, moving my way back. Moving my way downtown, walking fast. Faces pass, and I'm homebound. Prometheus in box. All the parts sealed. Everything. Hundred bucks, I got it. And um, I have another Prometheus that I got around the same time for 65 I got two of them on purpose. And I've done this with a couple other blasters, like the Perseus. The reason why I have two of those, and two Promethei, whatever the word is, is so that the rechargeable battery can be swapped between them. Like, if I need to charge one after a day of use, then I have that available. Instead of waiting around and not using it for an entire day, you know. The, the, the Perseus would be a lot easier with that, because they're smaller lithium batteries, but still an option nonetheless. And the same thing applies with the Prometheus. So that'll be fun. That'll be cool. I've already held the uh, the 65 one. And it's fun. And that one's still loaded with rifle rounds. That's the other fun part about it. I have a lot, a lot, a lot of ideas of what videos to make. But that will happen when it happens. You. You already got recorded as a video. And I. Mm, we have some choice words to talk about later. I got a max action blaster. Well, blaster kit. I've actually been curious about these for a while. They usually appear in Kohl's. And I'm like, yeah, I might as well. So, that'll be an upcoming review. I got a couple of Sterilite bins over here. Basically, um, someone's throwaways, but they were clean enough. They didn't have any materials inside of them. So, I thought that would be helpful for Lego sorting. Later on, I got to do a lot of rearrangement. I got a Sterilites in at home. So I figured those will help a lot when sorting them into bins. If you want to see where that's inspired from, check out Beyond the Bricks video of Jeng Bricks Part Collection Tour. Tons of Sterilite drawers used. Yeah, empty bin in there. Still got to put stuff in it. I got a whole bunch of Tupperwares that I could throw a lot of stuff in there for packing and storage. I just... You know, that will be done rather soon. That box over there is from Amazon. I've gone through some of the materials in there so far, but I haven't made any videos with them yet. So stay tuned on that. Uh, Nerf Pool made it over here somehow. And that's it. I didn't... <laughs> I, I should have done more with it, but I will eventually. There's some firewood on the other side with the oranges. The blue bucket here is one I bring to Nerf games. It has a whole bunch of ammunition inside. A couple of uh, accessories and gear, like iPro. Um, it's, it still needs a seat cover. 
I haven't been able to find one in stores itself, so I have to, like, order it online. Not my favorite thing, even though I have an Amazon box right there, but it's fine. I'll work with it. On top of the table, these are actually a couple folding tables across. Like, you know, kind of a large card table, kind of a, a standard card table here. And I've used this for a bit of recording, mostly Nerf videos, a couple of LEGO videos here and there. Not all of them have appeared on the channels yet, but they will eventually. Uh, this is already reserved. I'm not opening that in <laughs> for the uh, Mandalorian $30 set. The um, the general space with it, I was going to use for like, oh, well, if this, you know, obviously if this place is cleaner, I would be using this for mod parties. Every once in a while, having people uh, come over, you know, to work on projects or show what they've got or whatever the case may be. Um, I've used this a little bit myself for working on a couple mod projects. I haven't finished all of them yet. There's still a Maverick around here I need to... Uh, no, a Firefly around here I need to uh, readjust. I was working on it before Halloween, and I have to still tweak with it a bit. I got a couple of old Mega Blasters up here because I was testing them out with Ultra, and one of them broke. Actually, two of them had barrels that broke, unfortunately. The Rattlers um, have very fragile barrels, apparently. I don't know if that has to do with the cold outside or how I was trying to operate the blaster. It's very finicky, but yeah, that's fine. That will be reviewed. I want to do a whole bunch of Nerf merch just for fun of it. Like, we haven't done it uh, that much in the community, so I thought, hey, that might be funny, <laughs> you know? It's like, oh, it says Nerf on it, and what does it do? Anything you expect it to do. <laughs> Anywho, uh, a lot of blasters. Oh, <laughs> I'm still working on editing that video. It should be out real soon because I love it. I love it. I love it. Yeah, three of them. But one of them is complete, but still. Yay. I'm so happy for that. There's still like one or two other blasters on the way. I'm so excited to find. And that will be another video for another time. Uh, a couple of vintage ones I've been trying to collect again from my old collection, like long, long time ago. Don't have the original ones anymore, but still have the, essentially the same thing. Tools. Uh, chronograph. Bots. Chronograph itself. Yeah, so I've actually set this up on a tripod, used it for a couple of Nerf videos. Um, I think I did a couple unboxings and reviews for videos, um, which will be coming up on the channel sometime. More Tupperwares. Yes, a lot of Tupperwares for a lot of storage. This is basically a bench with a box on it, with a GL in the middle, and some Vortex in the middle, and a Strife. Yeah, uh, a couple of things in boxes I haven't opened up from Nerf yet. I mean, they didn't send them to me. I mean, I bought, you know, Nerf brand things and uh, haven't gone through them all yet. Uh, the This one, I haven't finished the review for it yet. Should probably do that sometime. You. <laughs> you, you, you. Um, there's a video with that and the Aeon, or the Nexus Pro, I have done many months ago and still have to work on a lot of videos. A lot of potential and a lot of videos. There's a bin over there, Uno, that is constantly getting rearranged and has some war gear, you know, for events. It's got some knee pads over there. Still got my Shazam costume. That's where it went. Okay. Uh, I got the Frisbeat. Yep, that's still there. This is basically the rival area. We've got all the rival related blasters, accessories, balls like we did a video on a little while ago, except for the Prometheuses and the Perseuses. And two boxes up there. And somewhere around here is, oh, there it is. The uh, Mandalorian, no, Battlefront Apollo, the Boba Fett edition. Anywho, most of the stuff is over here. That's cool. Uh, some of this I've already done videos on. Uh, I'll, they'll upload when they upload. That's the thing. Five Below Blasters. I don't have enough of them. I'm gonna get more. Because I'm nuts like that. Fans. And now we get to the Lego stuff. So back in this corner, there's a whole bunch of Lego stuff. That container has a whole bunch of Lego plushes. As well as that one, and that one, and that one, and some of that one. <laughs> I have a lot of Lego plushes based on minifigures. I've covered them on a video before. It turned live stream of varying quality, but yeah. It's cool. It's fine. 
Lighting's not entirely great in here, so I do apologize from this point forward, as it will get a little bit shadier, or darker, I should say. Backlog. A whole lot in the backlog. So much so that it's got not one shelf, not two shelves, although it's a really packed shelf, but leaning into a third shelf. I mean, not all of it in here is backlog, but given the stuff that I had in the beginning, that would cram in here so easily. <laughs> Um, this one's actually already built, the Railway Express, it has also the monorail parts, there's some monorail parts there, I was hoping to build it again, but that didn't happen. Uh, Super Mario stuff, Super Mario stuff, Super Mario stuff, Brick Vacuum, yes, <laughs> yes, I love this thing, it's hard to find, I found it in good condition, and got a good deal from it from a friend, I am very appreciative of that, thank you Andy's Brick Shop. Alright, uh, I mentioned the plush stuff here. I have like three or four of these, including a Batman one and an Ninjago one, because I thought I was going to do them for STEM classes. They didn't need them, but I could still use them as nice camera stands here and there. A lot of brick journals that I found a while ago. We've got Hidden inside in that container down there with the yellow um, handle. Bunch of different Lego sets in there. I don't remember what's in there because I didn't write out label. <laughs> There is a bag back there from Garden Slug Lug Bulk. Bunch of Hot Wheels. I do collect Hot Wheels every so often. Getting some interesting designs. Not even of rarity. Just because they look fun. You've got a passenger train in here. As we do up there. Yeah. Found two of them. At like 127 each or something. Let's move up the Boba Fett Apollo. I still haven't really opened this whole thing up. I feel like I should do a video for it because I've only just broken the seals on it. But it's so good. It's so good. I'm not a big fan of the Apollo even though I wind up having like four or five of them just from used lots and this. But I got this at like 28 bucks or something which is vastly different from the 90 it originally went for. And... Oh, wait. Oh... So cool. I do not want to lose the ammo because of the you know, special color to it. I don't know where to put the patch yet, so again, don't want to lose it. I like the mask. And neat. Little. I, I will say, for Rival, I'm not a big fan of stick mags, box mags, like the Chaos mags even. Uh, I do like internal mags being on a lot of the Rival Blasters. It works so well with that. So much better. Speaking of which, up there is uh, two boxes. I believe one of them belongs to the Nemesis and one of them belongs to the Hades, which are both sitting in that corner. Again, yeah. Uh, a couple of Nerf tools on this side. Yes, I actually do. <laughs> I just happened to find that outside of a store one time. I was like, okay. <laughs> I got a Nerf side. Uh, Nerf toolbox, a little step stool. We got some tools, paints, um, mod kits. Drop-in mod kits, springs, various parts. Clearly I need to use more of those. I don't remember what's in this bag. It's an empty bag. Okay, moving on. Po uh, polar bears. I, I basically found these for free. I thought it was cute. I was going to decorate them somewhere. And then winter happened, and I didn't decorate them. Alright. And then we move up. There's a couple other things that are in boxes. I got the XBZs up here. I've got, uh, these are all still sealed, a varying wear and tear because sometimes the garage floods and some of the things on the floor warped. Yeah. But I do still want to do videos on a couple of these things. I do already have an open D-Dart, Tempest, uh, a couple more weird Nerf things over time. These are older ones, actually. And the, the Falcon Fire. Yeah. I, uh... Still got that squid hat and a hammer for the Bob the Builder. There's a super drum up there as well from Adventure Force. I I foolishly got that before the Villainator came out. And I have played with the Villainator a bit, but I have not played with the Super Drum. Gee. <laughs> but I still want to compare them. I still want to see how it is because I am still interested in the pump action, drum fed things like that. Um, even the Magnus, or Magnum Super Drum, that's the one. Um, I got the original one, and then the new one came out, and I'm like, really, we're doing this? <laughs> we're doing this all over the place. 
Up there is T-Rex from uh, Toy Story, peeking his eyes out. But inside of the bin is a Lego mock, which I have to reassemble. It's been falling apart for a long time, even before I got here, unfortunately. And it wasn't from the travel either. It was actually from uh, after a convention, I believe, that it started falling apart. It is a Lego mock that I have not made a video for, but I'm long overdue. Like, two years, or th almost three years overdue. It is of a Lego store, a Lego pop-up store that I used to work at back in holiday of 2018. I got the store pretty accurately. And while the store is not no longer there because it was a pop-up, it was still neat to try it out. And I, I actually did spend some time in the store taking notes uh, when it was, you know, slow, when it had some downtime, just to try to make it accurately. Oh yeah, there is an extension cable up here, so you can actually plug in tools and things for the table. Sometimes I put in uh, speakers to play music while I'm in here working on stuff, or to plug in the phone while I'm recording videos. So yeah, a whole lot of Target stuff. That's, I mean, not the, the store, but I mean like something to aim at. <laughs> but uh, 